Hello and welcome to this week's web chat with Vision 33. Uh, I'm going to be this week's host. My name is Dean Garrison. I'm a member of the Total Care staff here at Vision 33 along with our presenter today who is Mike Hodge. He's going to work on a continu his continuing series of um, financial um, aspects of Business One. And today's session, which was originally scheduled for one session uh, in cost accounting, has now been split into two. So we're going to do um, the first part today and then expand that to next week. Uh, the version 9 cost accounting is much more um, inclusive uh, than previous iterations and we determined that it's going to require us to be uh, two sessions to get a little more in-depth in there and help you guys really understand the changes that have come along with version 9. So without further ado, Mike, it's all yours. All right. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> so cost accounting, uh, well, everyone's sort of seen it, but no one really knows how it works when I talk to customers and, and even staff members. It's uh, quite involved, but basically what cost accounting allows you to do is basically what a segmented chart would do if you were going to divide up your expenses into a segment like a department or a location. So really cost accounting allows us to do managerial and business analysis with all the expenses that are posting without actually making up those general ledger entries themselves. So for the ledger, of course, has to be set up properly and have the proper financial accountings for the IRS and everyone else. But I might want to know uh, what I am doing by product line or by uh, a, a location or by an item, um, a department expense and the only way that without cost accounting we could do that uh, in SAP before was uh, to basically make your general ledger make a segment for those different kind of cost centers and then you'd have to divide up your postings which really put a lot of laborious uh, entry in, in AP just so you could get out some reporting that helps you understand where your departments budgeted actuals are okay or, or what, what what the product lines are doing if you're not using the item groups to do that. So <clears throat> what I'm going to try to go through today is this PowerPoint from SAP to kind of give you an overview and then I will 